Hi everyone, Carrie Lee here with Pura Vita Vitality and Nutrition. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you why you might want to choose to buy your produce and your groceries locally as well as organically. So first of all, talking about um, the whole local idea, um, the local movement is basically trying to buy within roughly 100 miles or you know 100 or so kilometers of your own place, as many things as you possibly can. And first and foremost, this is great to do because you're keeping a lot of um, you know the money in your local economy, which is always really nice, supporting local farmers. Um, but another reason for this is because the um, basically the the latest that you can possibly buy your produce, um, your your fruits and your vegetables, um, the latest that it was picked uh, from when you actually eat it, it will contain the more amount of nutrients. So the most amount of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and flavonoids and other good things in it. So a lot of the time when you're buying um, produce and um, try to pay attention next time where it comes from, a lot of it comes from the Caribbean, from Chile, from Venezuela, from China, from Mexico, um, even just from the South US. And what happens with this type of um, produce is it's picked and it travels for weeks, sometimes even months. And what happens is when you pick or when you pull um, a vegetable or fruit from its source of nutrition, so meaning the plant that it's growing from, the soil that it's growing in, and the sun, which of course it you know receives vitamin D and um, that's how the plants get chlorophyll and grow. So when you take it from its um, source, its plant source, it doesn't um, it doesn't yet grow any further. So it doesn't um, basically get any more nutrition from that point on, from the time that it is picked. So when you're buying locally, for the most part, um, I mean there's the pick your own options, but you can also um, go to a farmer's market or even if you're just buying from your local uh, grocery store, if you're picking something, let's say from Ontario and you live in southern Ontario, chances are that that crop was only picked um, a few days, potentially maybe a week ago or so, but it not weeks and months ago where it's had to travel a long, long distance and taken a long time to get here and deliver to your grocery store. So that's always a good option and that's why I really like going to farmers markets as well as doing the pick your own farms. Just this past weekend I did strawberry picking. Man, was it ever hot out, but it was so nice and the strawberries were so juicy and delicious. Um, so that's uh, that's definitely a great um, family outing, something fun and something different to do in the summer, uh, whether it be you know during the week or on a weekend. But um, yeah, you could definitely take advantage of um, the, the farms that you have in town and uh, that way you're also getting a lot of nutrition from that produce that you pick. Now, the whole organic debate, um, I mean, I'm sure you've kind of heard different sides of the coin, but um, all the research that I've done, I'm just going to explain to you briefly why you may want to shop organically or get your produce at the least organically. So there's two main reasons for this. Number one is um, less pesticide, herbicide, insecticide, and fertilizer use. So organic, to be labeled certified organic, um, whether it be in Ontario alone or even throughout Canada or the US and even other places throughout the world, it is quite strict in the manner of which they label, um, label farms as organic, as certified organic. And so you know that there's only a few fertilizers that they're able to use. They're not really able to use the pesticides and chemicals and herbicides that all these agro chemical or agro business um, companies use. So you can't use uh, Roundup for example which is um, active ingredient is glyphosate and leads to a lot of nervous system um, and endocrine system um, disorders as well as some other toxicity effects. They're not allowed to use that in organic farms. So it's really good to know that your you know your toxicity level is much much lower and you're not getting some of those nasty chemicals that they might spray on a lot of the conventional food items. And unfortunately, it's not just as simple as washing your fruit and veggies and washing it off. A lot of the time, um, what happens is if the fruit or veggie is quite porous and has a high water concentration, which let's face it, all fruits and veggies do have an extremely high water concentration, a lot of that chemical or fertilizer will actually soak into the fruit or veggie itself, so you can't simply wash it off on the skin. And that's really unfortunate. And the second reason why people tend to buy organic or why I like to support organic is because you're not supporting GMO or genetically modified organisms. I do have a separate video on this, so you're more than welcome to check it out. It's on my YouTube channel, um, all about GMOs. 
But um, that's something that's quite dangerous that's in our food supply as well and something that I'm definitely not a supporter of. So when you're buying organic, this is the only way to be 100% certain that it will not contain any GMOs or genetically modified organisms within the produce or within even the, um, the canned or packaged items as long as it says 100% organic or certified organic. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you today. Please check out my YouTube channel for some more great health tips at Carrie Lee RHN. And please visit me on Facebook. My company's name is Pura Vita Vitality and Nutrition. Have a great night.